Hello everyone, my name is Mega Shiny Object, and welcome to Jade Empire. Now, this is a game that I got about a year ago as a free download on Origin, but it would not play on my old computer. And then after I got <coughs> excuse me, after I got my new computer, I started to play it a little bit, and I really like it. It's a lot of fun, so I decided I was going to go ahead and try it for you guys. Um, so aside from basically the tutorial uh, and a couple of dialogue pieces in the very beginning, this is actually blind. This world is out of balance. Spirits grow restless. Cool. I am reborn again and again. I am the will of the Emperor. I am Death's hand. Oh, very cool. I've never seen that before. Anyway, so aside from the very beginning tutorial part and a bit of the first chapter, um, I haven't really played much of this, so this is going to be um, almost completely blind. We pick our character here. I think I want to stick with the one I was playing before. Which was her. Um. And you, the calm sea. I think that's what I had before. When I first started it. I like that name. I like on you. It's pretty. Holy wow. That's a lot of chi. Okay. A set. Oh, just something stuck to my tongue. So I've done all of this before. This tutorial part. <coughs> so I know this part. This is what got me interested in the game, because this was fun. I swear, one of these days I'll find a way around your guard. Mm, that's mean. Um... One more match, then? Happily. I feel that I learn something every time I face you. Even if it's only a new place to nurse a bruise. <laughs> so long as you're certain you have time. Alright, show me your best. Let us begin. I'm Wolverine. Press mouse one to attack. <laughs> While standing still, hold down space to block attacks. You're supposed to hit me, bro. Come on. Hit me. Hit me. There we go. Oh, I took my hand off the spacebar button. I am healed. Use mouse two to break through Jing Wu's block. <laughs> Fun. Double tap the movement keys. So this is like the Witcher. Double tap movement keys to evade. Whoa! Come here, bro. Take it. <laughs> gotcha. God, that's so fun. It's like. Did you see? Master Lee was watching. He may not show it, but he clearly takes pride in watching his students practice. I learn something every time we meet, proving that loss sometimes is the best teacher. Thank the heavens the bruises are worth it. You should have scratches since I have claws, bro. <laughs> bruises mark a marker failure. 
Thank you for the bout. You are gracious as always. I regret that there won't be much time for such practice now that you've almost finished your training. Master Lee told me to pass on that you can speak to him when you have the chance. He said you could take your time, so you need not rush. Where is Master Lee again? Master Lee just went into his house. It's just over there, as always. Okay. You have some time to wander the school and talk with other students. Smiling Mountain likely has some of the younger students available if you want to spar. I shall leave you to it. Take care, my friend. I actually talked to Smiling Mountain, and that's about as far as I got. I sparred with a couple of students, and then I was like, I'm, I want to let's play this one, so... Chapter 1, wherein a master foretells of doom, a rival challenges for station, and the past haunts the present. Your training nears its completion in the idyllic setting of the two rivers. Master Lee promises that soon you will know more about how you came here and where your future, future will lead. All the while, strange tales begin to spread of ghosts that will not rest, and shadowy assassins who heed no law. So yeah, I pretty much went over... These guys will take over the sparring ring and practice. I went over and talked to... Yeah, this guy. And I sparred with a couple of people, and then I stopped playing. Hmm. I thought Master Lee would have your attention for the rest of the day. It is good to see you. Nice eyebrows. I know you haven't had much time for simple sparring. It is too bad. Your fellow students benefit from your experience. A strong opponent is the best trainer. Mm. Can I ask you some things about the school? I am charged with giving whatever instruction I can. But my insights deal more with the philosophy of combat than the skills themselves. Um... Tell me about the philosophies you mention. Master Lee is very strict about what is taught here. Because martial skill is a pathway to great power, and that holds certain risks. It is not just good over evil. Few things in life are that simple. The common way to say it is, do you follow the way of the open palm, or the closed fist? Okay... Tell me about the way of the open palm. A term for the high path, or perhaps the way of restraint and harmony. Many aspire to it, but few achieve it. It is a path of resisting tyranny. Of course, the source of that tyranny varies. It is just as dangerous coming from without as within. Give me examples. Tyranny from external sources is easy to find and fight. Defending those who cannot defend themselves is a reasonable example. Okay. But when your abilities are so much greater than those around you, there is the temptation to set everything right by might alone. That is tyranny from within. Oh, you scared the crap out of me back there, dude. Uh, sometimes conflict cannot be avoided. I'm trying to get a feel for the type of character I want to play, so... True, but that can become a convenient excuse. Eventually you may decide that even direct violence is too inefficient for someone of your strength. It is a small leap from there to enforcing your will so that the crime never takes place. Suddenly you are the oppressor, when all you wanted to do was make things right. This way of the open palm is not without its hidden dangers, despite the best of intentions. Your punches are very distracting, bro. So what's the way of the closed fist? It is the low path, the way of aggression and discord. A misunderstood path often misused by those who wish to justify a thuggish nature. It is not as simple as crushing your enemies, or as mindless as terrorizing the weak. It is a mindset born of impatience, of imposing your will. So renegade, basically. So what is it if it's not evil? An evil man might ignore a plea for help because he does not care. But that shows a disconnection with the world. That is not part of the way. A man on the low path might also ignore that plea. But he would do so because that person should demonstrate they are fit to survive on their own. Oh, so Vivian in Dragon Age, basically. I hate that woman. God. 
What is the difference the person dies each time? The difference is in the details. That same man might help if the odds are unreasonable. He might also do it to incur <coughs> favor. There is thought in his action. <coughs> he is not a mindless killer, but he may let strength decide what course is best. That is why it is a dangerous path. It can so easily be misinterpreted. Huh. Does this have any practical effect? You are the sum of your actions. The harmony or discord that you sow will weigh on your shoulders as surely as any physical yoke. You're having a but disconnect with your head there, dude. Certain forms of attack inherently lean toward one extreme or the other. They have a rhythm that resonates within you. You may find that some attacks perform better if you are more intent on causing discord. How you use this is for you to discover and decide. Okay. Previous I'm questions. With giving whatever instruction I can. But okay, you said this. Um. Who are you interested in? Tell me what you know of Master Lee. Master Lee is a private man, and I will not presume to speak for him. His interest in you surpasses the care of any master I have known. He must see great potential in you. Uh, what about you? If you wish, but only introspection reveals true insight. I used to call the trading center of Phoenix Gate my home, but I am settled here. I have nothing to go back to. Aww. Why did you leave Phoenix Gate? It is not important. Suffice to say that I prefer this little village to the temptations of a greater city. Enough about me. What else can I do for you? I'd like to know more about you, dude. How long have you taught here? It has been several years since I arrived in Two Rivers. I was surprised to find a teacher of Master Lee's ability so far out on the borderlands. It was a fortuitous accident. I have studied the martial arts all my life and serve your master as I am able. He is devoted to your training and needs someone to assist the other students. Mm. I am charged with giving whatever- Do you have to repeat that every single time? Do you s What kind of items and additional training do you sell? Ah yes, training. For some time now, I have offered, for a small fee, to run students through a short regimen that will help them enhance their abilities. The lessons you learn from me, or from any trainer for that matter, will stay with you and help make you stronger or better able to focus your mind or magic. Why is there a fee? Training has worth, and Masterly allows me to collect a small fee to reinforce this. Travel outside to rivers and you will find my prices are quite reasonable. Oh, goody. You're not teaching new styles then? No, I try to improve base abilities. But through the basics that Master Lee has instilled... I don't have any money, I don't think. you have the opportunity, I'm sure you will pick up new styles quickly. No, oh, we're back to the punching. I guess, show me what you have. I don't, Let's see what you can learn. I don't think I have any money, so... Belly of Iron, health plus three, chi minus one. Yeah, I don't have any money. A series of exercises developed by Smiling Mountain. Those who learn and use his belly of iron techniques learn to take blows better, giving them more stamina in combat. The strain of using these exercises in battle can slightly reduce a warrior's ability to channel their chi. Heart of Gold is a set of meditative techniques developed by Smiling Mountain to help his students learn to master their chi. By remembering specific mantras in battle, it's possible to challenge slightly more chi than normal. Ooh, that sounds cool. Or f Mind of Steel. Mental exercises that test the memory and quickness of thought uh, help warriors better focus in battle. Hmm. The time spent honing the mind can have the side effect of slightly weakening on your body, however. Okay, well, I don't have anything, so... Last time I did that, I sparred with some of the kids. Always good to see you wandering the school. You're the best among us, after all. So it makes everyone train a little harder when you're around. Hello there, Mr. The Dude, whose name I don't sure remember. We're emulating you, not hoping to take you down a peg. You should think carefully before bruising the tender egos around here. <laughs> oh, did I tell you to see Master Lee when you have a chance? I'm not taking the blame if you forget. 
Yes, you told me already. Thank you. You have some powerful punches, my dear. To fight without thought is suicide. The path to victory is laid out one step at a time, each ahead of your opponents. Sagacious Tien. Wow, that's quite the name. Harmonic combinations demand the use of two styles in rapid succession. Succession. The first must be of the class called support. The second form the class known as martial. Timing is the key. Begin with a focused disabling effect and follow quickly with a powerful barehanded blow. The two actions working in concert will create a harmonic channel in your chi and wreak havoc upon your foe. You must be swift as the window to create harmony is limited. Disable your foe, close swiftly as you change style and strike with all available force. Let nothing stand in your way, but beware. Opponents of great strength may possess the training to resist this technique. Thought will guide you to victory. Harmonic combinations will ensure the journey is swift. Huh? That doesn't make any sense. Auspicious portents. Understanding the stars and the universe is a very important goal. By examining the universe, we can interpret and predict things to come. The sky is where the great dragon is said to dwell. And in his illustrious home, we can see the signs of his effects on creation. Of the observable phenomena, three major ones are the most auspicious. Comets, the flames of the heavens passing across the sky, eclipses, eclipses, there is a semicolon there saying I should pause. Eclipses, during which the power of the gods blocks the sun for brief periods, and falling stars, marking the descent of one of the celestial bureaucracy to the earth. Huh. Who the fuck? Ooh, nice one, girl. Get him. Oh, I opened a map by mistake. I accidentally right-clicked and... You are in perfect harmony. You also look like you're moving in slow motion. I won't bother you two. Tho Fan, or the Old Tongue, was the native language of one of many kingdoms struggling for supremacy before the Empire was unified by Sagacious Tien, our first emperor. As the wars raged, constant shifts in ter territorial leadership spread use of the Old Tongue. By the time Sagacious Tien formed the Empire, the Old Tongue was so widely spread that it became a second official language of the Jade Empire. Typical. Gal the Lesser? Hi. Oh, you're finally here to talk to Master Lee, are you? I certainly hope so. The old man is in there meditating, and he won't train you until he talks to you. Okay. I'm sorry? Uh, can I talk to you a moment? The senior student, Master Lee's little lapdog, here to talk to me. My lucky lady. Don't you have something more? The fuck is your problem? Yeah, what did I do to earn this belligerence? You don't want my answer to that question. Go talk to one of your sandal-licking friends and let them tell you I'm jealous. I'm sure Wen could stammer out an answer for you. Something to make you feel like more than I. Just read about yourself. Master Lee wants to talk to you. Do me a favor and go talk to him. Then maybe I can actually receive some education at this school. Jesus, alright. Well, I guess we know who my rival is, huh? <laughs> I don't know what I did to that guy, but okay. Ooh, a box. These are all codexes. I think I can go back through and read all of these. I don't need to read... Um... Ten years of scorching heat and little rainfall took toll and even prodigious. Huh. I don't need to read all of those, I don't think. I have a peacock feather! Oh, that's so cool! Ah, oh, there you are, my student. I watched your bout against Jin with great pride. You have gained almost all you can from the practice arena. You are my best pupil, though you came to me an orphan. 
I have tried to prepare you for the responsibility your skills will bring. Have you given thought to your future? Um... <coughs> Excuse me. Perhaps I will train others as you have trained me. Your lessons are complete. Remember these basic skills and keep them at heart. But also remember the classes are not a true measure of ability. Always be ready to learn. The graphics are really good. As a child, you fell and bruised your arm. I comforted you, saying that small pains are part of learning, but not every setback imparts wisdom. You must be careful. Sometimes all you learn in defeat is that you have been defeated. This world is out of balance. Spirits grow restless, and you have a role to play that I have kept secret. <laughs> okay. Why would you do that? Those who announce their important destiny before they are ready tend to meet unfortunate ends. The wise only seek attention when capable of dealing with it. The people are scared. I do not have all the answers, but I know you will become very important to the fates of many. You will be called to face a great evil. Master! Master Lee! What is this interruption? This had better be important. There is much to say. Master, Nijo came to warn me. He saw a boat from the outlook past the fields. Strange outlaws. They, 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 they fired something at him, and Kiamin was injured. Where is she now? Still outside the village by the outlook. Nijo couldn't carry her. Please come, Master Lee. The bandits are not at the village yet, but they could arrive at any time. Hmm. We will have to continue our discussion later, my student. It appears we have more pressing matters. What would you have me do, Master? The time for practice is over. Go to Gujin, the Weapon Master, and get a weapon. You may soon be called to use it. Oh, jeez, we're, like, really getting into it now, aren't we? On your way, make certain Dawnstar is aware of the danger. Her skills have always complemented yours, so take her with you. Kay. Prepare yourself for a potential attack while I tend to my fallen student. I will return as soon as I can. We will continue our discussion when the threat is over. Oh, where can I find Di Dawnstar and Gujin? Dawnstar will be near her garden at the entrance to the school. Gujin will be in his shop near the village gate. Up the stairs from the village square. All right, I will do as you ask. Good. The time comes when you will know all you need to. For now, keep the basics at heart. Okay. So, so far from what... what I've played, I'm getting a very calming effect from this character. I feel like she's a very calm individual. Um, the kind of person that kind of only fights when she needs to type thing. Maybe? I don't know. I don't know. I, th I don't know where I need to go. It's my character. Style points to learn new techniques. Okay. That's my level up tree. Um, companions, I guess? Looks like an alien. Um, don't know what that is. That's my journal. Always the book is the journal. Seems likely Two Rivers is their destination. Ah, map. The sparring arena is over here. There's Smiling Mountain. Match of these quarters. Dawn Star's garden. Okay, so I was heading the right way then. I've got to head back down this way. The door's closed. Whoa! What's going on with the grass there? That was a weird little graphic bug there. Whoa! There they go again! That is so funny. <laughs> but 
see what I mean? Look at the- it's beautiful. Look, there's a rainbow over there. This is absolutely beautiful game. And I was walking around my first time playing through it, and I was like, Oh, this is really pretty. The graphics are gorgeous. It's the color and everything, just gorgeous. And the music's pretty cool, too. Am I going the right way? Apparently, yes. Oh, it's this dude. What's the matter, Dawnstar? Are you scared that Master Lee might find out? There is talk of approaching bandits, and you bother me with unsubtle advances. How very like you, Gao. No doubt a tactic learned from your criminal father. Ooh. His name is Gao the Greater, and he built a fortune out of some ragged thieves and slave traders. If my charm can't lift your spirit, I'll buy the ground from under you. Sounds like Nathan Fillion. Flaunting your father's undeserved wealth does not impress Which me, Gao. Makes it hard to it only serves push uh, me further away. It sounds like Nathan Fillion, which makes it hard for me to take him seriously, because Nathan Fillion's not exactly a serious guy. Oh, I wonder if it is Nathan Fillion now. I'm gonna have to look that up when I'm done recording, because it sounds like Nathan Fillion to me. Um, it sounds like Don Star would like you to leave, Gal. You step beyond your station. She and I are discussing her future. Thank you, Gal, but I'll pick my own poison. Now leave, and if you'd be so kind, stay downwind. Ooh, <laughs> I like her. I won't forget this, Dawnstar. You show great disrespect. You as well. You will not take all the glory if there is an attack. We are not through. It really sounds like him. He is Gao the Lesser in all respects. Ooh. I thought Master Lee allowed him to stay so that the influence of the father could be countered, but Gao never learns. He acts like he's above Master Lee's teachings. Such are the conceits of wealth, I suppose. I appreciate that you arrived when you did. What did Gao want? What does Gao the Lesser ever want? He's convinced that he can buy everything, and that includes people. He's a spoiled little man. Ooh. <laughs> I'd rather not dwell on him. Let's not increase his influence by talking about him after he's gone. What is it you wish? I just don't like seeing you upset. That is nice to hear. Gao could learn much from you. You seem nice. to learn anything from anyone. Um, you know about the bandits. Master Lee said to get a weapon from Gujin. Yes, he said you were coming. He just passed here with Sea Pat on his way to help Kia Min. It's strange that simple bandits would launch such a raid. Master Lee was concerned that this would interrupt your training. His respect for your potential is just so absolute. Has he told you any more about your future? Apparently I'm destined for something, but he kept it a secret? Not specifically. What do you know about it? Only what Master Lee has told you in the past. You are meant for great things. Yeah. But you must discover them yourself. Oh, it must be so, so annoying. Frustrating, but exciting yeah. as well. <laughs> Frustrating's a good way to um to put it. He has told you similar things. You have a talent too. It is not the same. You are filled with the promise <coughs> of great things, even if they are unknown. My skills will always be darker. Huh. I can see into the spiritual, an ability that grants some insight, but it doesn't seem to be useful for anything other than keeping me awake at night. Aww. I helped Master Lee discover the unrest that shapes your future, but I see only problems, while you are destined to find solutions. I envy you for that. Please don't put me on a pedestal. I'd rather stand beside my friends. <laughs> I'm glad. You have always kept your feet on the ground. What does Master Lee say? That you should keep the basics close to heart? Let's go get your weapon from Gujin's workshop. It shouldn't be too hard to fend off simple bandits. They're foolish to attempt such an attack. Um... Could I ask you a few more questions? Of course. I can speak now or during our walk. Master Lee suggested that I accompany you, in case you require assistance. Okay, so she's a companion. Cool, I like her. 
Um, where can I find Gujin? His workshop is in the center of the village by the gate, up the stairs from the square. It's the largest and most permanent building. You must be tired if you're asking me about that. You've talked to him many times. Yeah, I'm new here. <laughs> How did you help Master Lee find out about the Restless Dead? I don't want to think about it too much. Manipulating Chi has not come as naturally to me as it has to you. The things I do are different. I can see spirit shapes and hear the odd whisper. Master Lee was surprised, but he has not had time to look into it further. Your training is his primary interest. Hopefully I'll find my skills useful for more than just keeping me up at night. Could we go on to something else? Seems a little unfair to his other students. Um, what do you know about the spirit world? We are all spiritual creatures. When we die, our spirits are released to find their way to the underworld. The journey eases the transition from life to death. If their time among the living was troubled or painful, spirits sometimes get lost. They can seem almost alive and are often mistaken for living creatures. So ghosts? They usually only appear for a short time. They say what they need to say and then are drawn to the underworld. Hmm. What happens to them in the underworld? I don't know. That's the kind of thing old men sit on mountains to discover. <laughs> Some say it is a place of judgment. Maybe it's about reincarnation. You'd think we could just ask the spirits themselves, but if we can't really understand our own answers, how can we hope to fathom theirs? What makes them so threatening? If a person's life was very traumatic, his or her spirit can lose its way for a long time. They can go mad trapped in the world of the living. Maddened spirits change. They lose their connection to the living world and begin to channel darker emotions. They can be very dangerous. I've only seen hints of those. It's been enough. I'm very worried about what may be coming. Huh. So are we being attacked by ghosts? We get our weapons as quickly as we can. I am honored that Master Lee feels I am worthy of standing beside you. Follower gained. Cool. I like her. She seems really sweet. There we go. Experience! The shrine helps you focus your inner voice. Your chi and health are replenished. Um, there's another one up here. This is different. Restore your f focus. Is focus the yellow bar? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and leave this episode here because, um, oopsie. Because, um, I gotta go to work tomorrow. I just wanted to go ahead and start this and get this. I'm really excited to continue on with this game. It's, it's, look at how beautiful this is. I mean, just look at that. It's absolutely gorgeous. I mean, don't get me wrong. I really, really love Dragon Age. It's one of my favorite games. This blows Dragon Age out of the water, in my opinion. This is absolutely beautiful. And I think they came out right around the same time, maybe a couple years apart, but... Yeah. I think this is actually older than Dragon Age? I don't know. I want to say this is older than Dragon Age, but I'm not 100% certain on that. I don't know, but yeah. It's absolutely beautiful, and I'm really liking it so far. The story's interesting. I like my first follower, my first companion, a lot. She's she's um, she's pretty sweet. So, anyway, um, yeah, I'm gonna end this episode here, and uh, when we come back, we'll go ahead and see what these bandits want. And, but I gotta go to bed and go to real life tomorrow. So, uh, thanks you, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the very next episode. Ciao.